that is so fetch. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kaya and today it is another metal monthly video. I am back with 20 new bands that are releasing new singles or albums this month of November 2022. Very exciting stuff. I am very excited to share with you all of these bands and uh, some of these are partnered label bands. So we are, the channel itself is partnered with these bands so I'm promoting their artists. Um, so expect reactions to some of these bands. And then there are a few that I uh, just threw in here that we aren't partnered with but I thought were really cool and I wanted to share with you so I'm super excited um, yeah it's gonna be fun um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel please feel free to do so I am documenting my entire new metal journey discovering all different kinds of metal and uh, what that is <laughs> so if that sounds interesting to you go ahead and hit that subscribe button uh, i also have a discord it is called the mosh pit if you want to join there's an invite link in the description and i have a p.o box if you want to send something to be featured in one of our metal unboxing videos that is also in my p.o box per usual with these videos i will have all of the links to these bands, band camps and social media and stuff like that down below in the description with their release date. So if one of these bands perks your interest, please, please go and check it out. Check out their band camp, their social media, pre-order some of their records, show some love and support to these bands. And especially thank you so much to all of the records, uh, record labels that we are partnered with um, for sending me promo for these bands. I'm really excited to dive in. So let's just go ahead and get started. I am hosting a fundraiser. Yes. So this is the very first thrash giving we are having on the channel. I'm very excited about it. Um, yeah. So the annual thrash giving celebrations for November comes with a monthly I guess one month fundraiser for a local charity in my area. This month the charity is called Brother Wolf Animal Rescue. They are a no-kill animal shelter. It works to save the lives of as many animals as possible in the western North Carolina region. Each year Brother Wolf saves around 9,000 animals thanks to kind community-based donations as they receive no government funding. To Brother Wolf, being a no-kill animal shelter means to do the absolute best to ensure a live outcome. So they consider the animal's quality of life, community safety, and whether it's realistic to manage aggressive or difficult behaviors or health conditions in a home without risk to people or other animals. Wolf, I've been there many times uh, trying to help my mom adopt a dog, um, and they're just a great local organization they're definitely small times so their money is your money if you decide to donate is definitely going to that cause which is why i picked it and why i'm focusing more on local charities um, as a whole so if you feel like giving this month to our charity definitely i would say donate to Brother Wolf Animal Rescue. Our goal is 666 girl because it would be metal if it wasn't. <laughs> so first up on our list is a progressive death metal band called Lamentations releasing their sophomore record called Passion of Depression via Willow Tip Records on November 11th. I'm super super stoked about this. What caught me on this record was Willow Tip described it as a cinematic concept album that portrays the pain, pleasure, joy, and sorrow that encompasses one's life journey. Razor sharp, method, methodical riffs, drive complex, serpentine composition supported by a myriad of keyboards and other classical instrumentation. The music on the album is supported by various guest musicians who add a sense of mysticism to an already otherworldly journey. So just 
already y'all know me I love concept albums so cinematic concept album is right up my alley um yeah I'm sold <laughs> you like children of Bodom I feel like this one will probably pique your interest because that's the kind of vibe I got immediately when I saw the album cover for this. This band I think is called Ymir, and this is a record, their second album called A Eons of Sorrow. Um, the digital format is already available, but physical copies will be available November 11th via Werewolf Records. It is black metal from Finland, and yeah, I just, this album cover just makes me think children of Bodom. <laughs> but I'm really excited. Black Metal from Finland, it just sounds really interesting. So does the, the band name as well and the overall look of it. Um, the Finn, the Finns, they don't mess around. They do metal pretty dang well. So I'm interested to hear what the black metal sound is going to sound like for them. Next up on the list, coming out on November 25th, uh, is Anomaly with their second full-length album, Somewhere Within the Pines. They are self-releasing it. Um, they're from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, but I really dig this album cover. I feel like, I don't know what this is, but it kind of makes me think of like a giant flea or like a giant spider or something like that. Y'all know me, I love album artwork, and I really liked this a lot. It looks very interesting. Um, progressive death metal, I think the name sounds really cool. Um, also, another concept album written as a love letter to Anomaly's progressive death metal influence. The material offered is of the ghastly, gruesome sort, as one will note from the press statement <laughs> that follows. Oh no, I didn't read this yet. So this is their press statement that follows. Uh, breaking news. After the ninth missing child case in a little over the year, the police have admitted they may have a serial killer in the area. These woods are deep and easy to get lost in, the sheriff said during a press conference on the latest missing child. No remains have been found, so we were hoping for the best, but now the time is to get real. There's evil out there, one local stated, I would never let my kids go out there. Ooh, so they have this little press statement. There's more to it. The town, okay, I'll read you the rest of it because it sounds interesting. The town has a history of bizarre violent crimes dating back over a hundred years, including the case of Deanna, Diana Davidson, who was murdered by her husband before he shot himself in front of police. The words, don't believe the spider's lies, were written on the kitchen wall in Diana's blood. Oh, the spider likely refers to a local legend of a spider demon that lives in the woods. So that's probably what's featured on this cover then. Is that like spider demon? That was the little thing that was in the press release that I got. Interesting. All right, I mean, I'm here for it. Second concept album, again, another progressive death metal band super into it, um, and they're self-releasing it. So I think that that's really cool of them. So definitely go and check out Anomaly and their second album, Somewhere Within the Pines. Next up on the list, we have a blackened death metal band from Chicago, Illinois, Blood of the Wolf, releasing a new album. I believe it's called For the Declaration of War Eternal. It's the it's the I and then the V is after, so I believe that's four. <laughs> Roman numerals, they're hard. Um, they're releasing it via Horror, Pain, and Gore Death Productions on November 18th. And this one seems really cool. Chicago, another uh, blackened, I think, it would, what did I say it was? Blackened death metal. So that there's so many different genres i mostly picked it because it's blackened death metal so is that like a mix between black metal and death metal if have we had any blackened death metal on the channel i don't know but um yeah 
this band just looks really cool. I really dig the album art. It's very like Sons of Anarchy-esque. And I really like the name Blood of the Wolf. So what also piqued my interest is that it's four and then the Declaration of War Eternal. So I'm assuming that there's three other CDs and this is kind of like, it could be the continuation of a chapter, you know, like the fourth chapter or installment of the story or something like that. So maybe the, you know, the, the previous record is three something something. So a lot of like, I picked a lot of like concept album type stuff and kind of interesting little things <laughs> so it's not just like basic albums for the whole thing there's like there's some cool things going on so definitely really interested in blood the wolf we sing on november 18th all the way from australia is this cyclonic death metal band called eschaton i believe and they are releasing their i think it's their debut album brand new mini album called Horror Cool. It'll be on CD and uh, vinyl formats from Hell's Headbangers. Really interested. I picked this because I don't know what cyclonic death metal is. And I'm hoping y'all do because that's what they call themselves. I don't know if that is like a an actual genre. Um, but if it is, I'm interested because cyclones they're right in my alley. The album cover art alone really grabbed me as well. Um, but they, <laughs> this is their descripting words, absolute chaos and total death, psychotic, bestial, raw, blistering ferocity and horror atmosphere. From Melbourne, Australia, eschaton means total death, the end of all things and time. I mean, I think that that just like speaks for itself honestly <laughs> seems really cool um haven't listened to too much like australian metal either so um if y'all want more australian metal definitely let me know i want to get some more brazilian metal on the channel too because your girl likes sepultura okay we like sepultura but yes eschaton australia november 18th from Hell's Headbangers, their new CD, Horacle. Number six on this list is a instrumental metal band all the way from New York called This Is The Last Time. They are releasing their debut album called Acclamation on November 18th on digital and vinyl formats. Um, yeah, this band, instrumental metal band, I, we haven't had any instrumental metal on the channel, and so I'm definitely curious to explore that more. It says, uh, this is the last time Acclamation is a sweeping instrumental metal album that spans the genre and further, nodding to the likes of bands as varied as Isis, Year of No Light, In Flames, Between the Buried and Me, Gorguts, and Pelican. Um, the band worked tirelessly to create an instrumental album crafted specifically to circumvent the need for a vocal performance and create music that is just as creative and catchy as anything with words. So that already sounds pretty good. I, I definitely want to, we're going to touch on Gorguts here pretty soon. Uh, In Flames we already did and that was like... Not gonna lie, it was a small train wreck, okay? Because we did a discography dive, so we covered, I think, like 10, I think we covered like 10 years of their discography with about five different songs. It started really good. Um, I think that In Flames, like older In Flames, is solid. Solid, okay? Um, Year of No Light sounds interesting, but. Um, if that sounds like something up your alley, you would probably be really interested in this instrumental metal. Um, I'm pretty interested in it. They are self-releasing it. They have a few other like small distribution companies that are helping to print the records and the vinyls. Um, but I also really like the cover as well. It just kind of made me think of like amoebas. <laughs> I don't know. 
but like an amoeba in a forest or like a, a dark castle. Um, you know in Game of Thrones where the like the actual iron chair is and that the pillars, how tall they were, how tall that room was? That's kind of what reminded me of it. So take it what you will. <laughs> Number seven on this list is a Finnish black metal band releasing their sixth album via Werewolf Records on November 25th. I'm going to butcher the pronunciation, but the band is called Vijord, I believe, F-G-J-O-R-D, and the album is called Rumisarna, Rumisarna Part 1. Again, their sixth album on CD and vinyl LP formats. Album cover looks really cool, kind of has like the same vibes as, oh, who was it? Blood of the Wolf with the skulls, kind of gives me Sons of Anarchy vibes a little bit. Um, but yeah, Black Metal from Finland. Um, in recent times, Fjord sprung to prominence among the adventurers as practitioners as a strangely alluring sort of obsidian. Although existing since the mid-90s and patiently parceling out their recordings in an almost clandestine manner, um, the upswing in activity began with Bajorn's third album, Uhrper, in 2017. Wow, so they like stay true to like the, I'm assuming that's Swedish titles. Um, but yeah, they're a trio. They have, let's see. Solidified and strengthened their strident aesthetic, melodorous melodicism, hypnotically rendered through a ripped raw sound field, making their strangely hummable ruminations on triumph and tragedy sound all the more alien. Sounds very interesting. Um, it seems very like. Oh, it's black metal. It seems very doomy <laughs> to me. I'm getting like doom metal vibes for sure. But again, if you're into black metal, Finnish black metal, you might be into or already know about this band, Fajord. So again, November 25th, I think that's on Thanksgiving actually, <laughs> or at least the day after. Via Werewolf Records, Rumisarna Part 1, go check them out wanting to call this band Snipers of Bagel, <laughs> but it's not. It's called Snipers of Babel, um, releasing their, uh, let's see, oh my gosh, where is my mouse? Self-releasing their new album, it is called Gabriel via Horror, Pain, Gore, Death Productions. They are a Maryland industrial progressive death metal band. And what caught me was the album cover and the name. Gabriel, I'm wondering what that is. I'm guessing it's a character in the Bible. Um, and then I thought the actual album cover itself, I think that's a dragon on the front of it or some sort of night goblin thing with like wings on it. It just, it looks very like 90s, early 2000s, like, Halo kind of esque video game. Something old, <laughs> like an old PlayStation 2 video game or something like that, which is what caught my uh, <laughs> attention. But um, yeah, industrial progressive death metal. I know um, Rammstein was industrial metal, and we haven't really had too much other industrial metal on the channel, so I'm interested. Um, what the sound is of like the industrial part with death metal and progressive metal. Have we had progressive metal on the channel too? I'm still getting used to like all of the genres, but Snipers of Babel, I'm interested to know more about this band and more importantly what that genre sounds like. <laughs> Number nine on this list is the band Judicator releasing their sixth album on November 25th. It is called The Majesty of Decay. They're releasing it via Prosthetic Records and this is a concept album, yet another concept album, and it looks 
pretty dang dope. They're power metal, and this just looks like a fantasy, adventure, Dungeons and Dragons, like I'm here for it. It's this dude holding some sort of globe, and he's like doing something weird with his hands as if he's got magical powers, and he's in a cave. I'm here for it. I love the fantasy aspect of it. And uh, you put that cover with concept album and I'm there. <laughs> so it says, while the album's story remains somewhat shrouded in mystery, Judicator utilizes compelling plot devices as a means to encourage fans to piece together the album's meta contextual threads. That's a word. What we do know, however, is that the Majesty of Decay explores the subjects of love family and the transformation of suffering into something meaningful. Judicator invites you to step into this world and contemplate how the story might relate to you. The album is a carefully constructed puzzle of mirrors and metaphors that cry out for Judicator fans everywhere to solve it. Ooh, so it's like some kind of unique to you sort of experience or puzzle type thing in a way with your emotions based on like how the album is like feeling towards you I guess interesting yeah super into it again this is Judicator with the Majesty of Decay go check them out number 10 on this list is Ninth Realm releasing their debut album A Fate Unbroken via Mercenary Press they are releasing it November 4th and this is crossover metal between thrash and heavy metal or at least that's what it says on here and um yeah i was just really interested because the album cover is dope uh it's just this big old viking dude and this like kind of diablo looking monster but also because it's a debut album and i'm here for the underground metal okay here for the debut albums and I also was interested in the crossover sort of thing that it mentioned so this nine track album takes the influence of the widest range of heavy metal 80s toned thrash death thrash and hardcore that the deci decisive genres have to offer not only do the riffs consistent guitar solos and blackened vocals take the listener through a whirlwind of slayer slash demolition hammer era thrash metal but the lyricism and quintessential raw fantasy style of their art and themes harken back to a frank frazetta slash ralph bakshi age of pure sword and sorcery i don't know who those people are but you might <laughs> but it seems like it's a really good um crossover between like the best of like the thrash and heavy metal and death thrash that we've been we've kind of had with the old school death metal bands and thrash metal bands mixed with hardcore they said so maybe like newer kind of like hardcore rock question mark I don't know I don't think so I don't think it's hardcore rock maybe it says hardcore punk in here back to its raw old school roots so maybe it's like the best of hardcore punk and rock meets the best of like death and thrash that kind of sounds interesting um really though i'm just here for the album cover <laughs> i'm here for it so once again ninth realm they're releasing their debut album, so do go and at least check them out um, because, you know, this is their first release and we're here to support them. Number 11 on this list is Wormwoods releasing a full-length album, No Sun Nor Moon, on November 4th. This is an atmospheric avant-garde black metal band from Finland, another Finnish band. Um, and it just honestly looks really interesting. I, I definitely like, I want to give avant-garde metal, atmospheric metal, another chance because we had them, we had that featured with, um, Imperial Triumphant, who is 
after some time listening to them, I was like, okay, like, I think it's fine. Um, so I'm interested in listening to more of that and kind of like discovering more of it. Um, but yeah, nine full tracks, a lot of like short songs. We got a couple that are like, you know, two minutes, one minute, most of them, they have a couple that are six, five minutes around there. Um, a lot of instrumental stuff too. So it's just, I mean, I guess that's kind of applied with atmospheric. See, I don't know that too much, but worms, wormwood sounds really cool. It's also spelled with a Y, so sounds edgy, but it's independently being released. And yeah, I'm interested to hear what your thoughts are on atmospheric avant-garde metal. Is it your thing? Is it not really your thing? And um, have you heard of this band before? I would like to know. Um, they're from, yeah, again, Finland. So again, giving me some COB vibes. <laughs> Number 12 on this list, if you like metalcore, I have a metalcore band for you. This is called Avaris and they are from Belgium. They are also independent and they are releasing a brand new full length album called White Elephant on November 4th. Um, pretty exciting stuff. You know, metalcore, I think it's a bad rep sometimes. I think it's not for everybody. I don't mind it, you know. I, I like some good metalcore. I like some good deathcore, okay. It's, it's a, it's a time. And I'm interested, um, this is another, like, German metalcore band. So, haven't listened to too much. Um, metalcore honestly but I would be down to check out more so Avaris independently releasing this it's 10 songs um, you know they got most of them are about four minutes long they seem pretty cool um, but they're actually a fairly new band so this is like their very first day like this is their debut record now that I'm looking at it so they released one single in 2021 and then two this year so if you want like a newer metalcore band that's just showing up on the scene avarice is definitely something that i would recommend checking out um and of course they're unsigned so go and check them out 13 oh this might get some people a little sa saucy um is a folk slash viking metal band from Sweden. Um, it is called Grimner, Grimnar, and they are releasing their full length album called Urfader, Urfader on November 18th via Despots Records. Um, I picked this band because they definitely look Viking metal is just one of those interesting genres where it's like it's not a genre, but it could be a genre But it's mostly just I've I guess from y'all I've discovered that Viking metal is mostly just thrash metal death metal that is Viking themed <laughs> because that is what this seems to be especially with the photo itself of them all just in like costumes and everything but um they're from sweden and they've been around for a minute from 2008 um they've been around and this will be their third no this will be their fourth full length record they've released two eps so they've had a lot of like music coming out in the last um i would say 14 years um but yeah, this just looks very Amon Amarth-esque, but just a little bit more like ethereal, I guess. So, and all of the song titles are in Swedish. They are from, I did say they were from Sweden, right? Yeah, so they're all in Swedish. So like, you know, true to the whole folk Viking sort of thing. Um, you know, because Amon Amarth, they're just more mainstream, so that wouldn't really cater to, like, a, a wider audience to have, like, you know, plus I don't think that they're Swedish, 
So <laughs> that's just a different conversation. Anyway, Grimner releasing their fourth full length album, Urfader, on November 18th through D Spots Records. Go check it out. So next up, I have an Italian black metal band. It is called the Jir Gadim. And they are releasing this album. It is called the Celestial Macrocosmic Scale and the Shimmering Path of the Supreme Regulator. Yes, that's the album title. And here's the catch. It's four songs. <laughs> here's the other catch. <laughs> Three of those songs <laughs> this is why I picked it. Three of these songs are, oh, I'm sorry. Two of them are 11 minutes and 30 seconds. The third one is 11 minutes, 20 seconds. And the fourth one is 11 minutes, 28 seconds. So I don't know if that's on purpose or if they really tried to get them to 1130. But I have a feeling it's supposed to be that way. <laughs> so this just honestly really, really caught my interest. Another really unique play on the whole like different way to do an album. Just a really long album title, only four songs. You still get 45 minutes of material with this whole record. And it just it it just seems really cool italian black model i'm i'm here for it so the album cover looks really interesting too it kind of looks like some sort of egyptian temple or something like that so it just looks very intriguing to me and they're releasing it via atronitis tenebrarum music fundamentum it's Italian, but you get it. <laughs> Next up on this list at number 15 is the, what are they? Sludge Metal Band from LA. <laughs> it is called 16 and they are releasing their new album Into Dust on November 18th through Relapse Records. Uh, really what caught my eye was the fact that their name is 16 and it's sludge metal through relapse so have you heard of this band because relapse is a really popular obviously it's a huge record label for metal music so have you heard of 16 what do you think about them um do you like sludge metal like what's the what's the sitch because i am curious about checking out more sludge metal um i'm also interested in their just the album cover is like this moth with like the time thing and then their whole logo, like everything about it kind of screams metalcore to me. I'm just keeping it real, but it's like sludge metal from LA. So they've been in the game for a while. Metal Archives has them like in the game since 91. So they've been around for a minute. They took a, a three year hiatus in the mid 2000s, but otherwise they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, this is their ninth record that's coming out. So have you heard of this band? Let me know. Again, it's uh, Sludge Metal Band 16. And this new album is called Into Dust. Coming in at number 16, this is a band that I'm actually really excited to share with y'all because I don't understand, but kind of understand what they're doing with their releases for these records, okay? This is a post-metal, metalcore band from Vienna, Austria, and Berlin, Germany. It is called Oceans, okay? Through Nuclear Blast Records, they are releasing their new full-length album, Hell is Where the Heart Is. It screams, um, abstract illusion that's it was like blanking for my brain but the album art screams abstract illusion to me um but here's what i discovered about this band that is intriguing to me so 
The full length 12 song album is being released on the 25th. Hell is where the heart is, okay? Now they have Hell is where the heart is volume one, Love and Her Embrace, which was an EP released earlier this year on January 14th. And that was four songs. Then they had part two, Hell is Where the Heart is, part two, Longing, also another short EP released in July of this year, another four songs, four different songs. Now they have the full length album, again, 12 songs being released in November. And then they have part three of their EP being released on the same day. Isn't that interesting? Four different songs also. And so, and what's interesting is that part three has the title track, Hell is Where the Heart Is, as their closer. And then it looks like Oh, I see. So the entire 12 song album is all of the songs that were on the EP. I'm interested to know why they did that. So they did two EPs again with the eight, the first eight songs on this record. And then they did, they're releasing, that is so weird that you would release your full length album the same day that you're releasing your part three EP that has the last four songs. Just seems, I don't know, tell me your thoughts in the comments, but that just seems like a waste of money and time printing, just like wasting just resources, just printing a bunch of like albums and stuff like that, if you're doing physical copies. But I guess if you're doing digital, it doesn't really matter, but it's like, why would somebody want to like shuffle through three EPs when they can just go to Spotify and click the album? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm missing something, but I feel like simple is better. Um, <laughs> I just think it's interesting. That is what caught my eye with this. Oceans, Hell is Where the Heart Is, releasing the EP and their full length album on November 25th. <laughs> if you like collecting limited edition music, limited edition metal to be specific, you might be interested in this. This is a Brazilian black thrash metal band called Crush Hammer. They are releasing a new album called Blood, Violence, and Blasphemy through Held Production Records, or actually it's called Held Prod Records on November 28th. Now, what caught my eye for this, um, other than the fact that they are Brazilian black thrash metal, um, but this record, Blood Violence and Blasphemy, is their first full length record, and they are only doing 300 copies. It is a limited edition thing. So they are only doing 300 copies of CDs for this whole record. And it's really short. The record is 10 songs and only 28 minutes long. So she's a quickie. Most of these songs are like two minutes and 40 seconds. So if you're interested in like having that kind of thing, just like smaller bands collecting limited edition stuff, you might be interested in this. I, I personally am interested in this band just because I want to listen to more like Brazilian metal. Um, black thrash metal sounds really cool. I also really like the name Crush Ham Hammer. <laughs> I keep wanting to call it Cashmere for some reason. Um, I, I thought that at first it was called Crushmere, Cashmere, Crush, you know but it's not. <laughs> so go check them out. If you're interested in trying to pre-order this CD, go see if you can. 300 copies is not that much, girl. All right, I have another Italian black death 
thrash metal band for you. These Italians, man, not only do they make good meatballs, you know, good lasagna, but now I know it's called las... Oh man, it is lasagna. There we go. Oh my God, my brain just farted so hard. I was about to just be like, it's called lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> but it's uh it's lasagna so they also make really they make a good uh, metal sorry <laughs> okay i digress <laughs> so necro death necro if you're watching this i thought about you when i uh <laughs> when i uh saw this band so necro death they are from italy black death thrash metal band and they are releasing a brand new album called Singing in the Pain. That's why I picked it, because that just made me smile. <laughs> Via Time to Kill Records on November 28th. <laughs> Singing in the Pain! I'm just, I'm here for it. I mean, it's a great play on words. And uh, it's just, their album cover is just a fat sticker that says censored on it. And I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Um, it's nine songs, 37 minutes long. And uh, yeah, they even have one song on here that's like just random numbers. 655321. I don't know if that sounds like familiar to you or not, but I don't know. Delicious Milk plus The Insane Ultraviolence. Omni ones, the sweet up and down. Oh, girl, I don't want to know what that song is about. <laughs> but they just seem really cool, and uh, I liked the name Necro Death because I have a Discord member named Necro in my, um, well, I guess Discord. That's he did make me think of him. So, Do you like japanese metal which i know we need to have on the channel okay it's going to happen because i'm so intrigued okay but if you like japanese metal i have a band for you and i can't pronounce it i don't it's not in english it is in japanese so i'm just going to show it on the screen and you'll be able, or I guess it's going to be over here. <laughs> I'm just going to show it on the screen so you can see it. And if you can translate it, perfect, great. I'll have a link down below that you can kind of like look more into it, obviously. But they are a melodic power metal group. They are an unsigned independent artist from Tokyo, Japan. They haven't been in the game very long. Um, it's, they've just been present since 2019 but it's two girls two women and i'm here for it okay japanese metal female fronted uh you know melodic power metal they're independent and this is another ep that they're uh releasing they've done a lot of like eps this is like their one two three four five eps and this one just looks really cool. It's very like kind of sexy and like dark and just, I don't know, it's really cool. So they have their first, their EP is three songs and then they're actually releasing a DVD with it too, which I didn't know, which has 10, looks like it's got 10 songs on it. So maybe it's like a, an animated kind of short film thing with all of their songs or it's um yeah what else would it be or it's just like music videos maybe but i would just assume that it's probably like some sort of animated short film thing which is again another very unique way to make your album stand out so cd and dvd this ep which i don't know what it's called here's the photo of the ep cover um so let me know what this band is called and the translation. I mean, I guess I could like do it myself through Google Translate. I don't know why I didn't think about that. Okay, bear with me. I'm sorry. Sometimes Google Translate. Sometimes we try our best. Japan. 
Japanese. Japanese. A world you haven't seen yet. Okay, so that is what the band name is called. A world you haven't seen yet. And this EP CD collection is called... Man, I am so sorry that I was not prepared. Hold on, here you go. Binary Aspect. Ooh, Binary Aspect. So in a world you have not... Ah, you of course deleted it. A world you have not seen yet, I think is what it was called. And the CD EP is called, CD DVD is called Binary Aspect. So again, they'll be down below if you wanna check it out. This looks really, really cool and unique, especially the DVD thing. Again, it's 10 tracks. So I'm thinking short film type of thing. So go check it out. Last band in this month metal monthly is a georgia post rock progressive death groove metal band called jet engine dragons um also independent and i'm just uh i'm here for the name honestly i'm here for jet engine dragons <laughs> you put dragons anywhere in the title and i'm there so they're releasing a brand new single called shell of reverie and um it looks like it's the song the shell of reverie and then the adversary which i don't know i'm guessing they're releasing like two singles or some sort of other i don't know what the adversary is but it says two so they're releasing, I guess, two singles um, on November 15th. Again, they're an independent artist, Jet Engine Dragons. Um, it's probably going to be a little bit more soft for some of you. Maybe if you're like more into like death or thrash and it's not quite metalcore or deathcore. It's post-rock progressive death groove metal, but who knows? I don't know. I think Jet Engine Dragons sounds really cool and they're from Georgia. So they're nearby my territory. Um, but the other thing that's interesting is they haven't released an album in five years. So the last record they released was in 2017 called Ashes of Anthemusa, which they also released independently. Um, and then before that, they had their debut come out in 2013. So they're finally releasing music after five years. This will be their first, like I'm guessing, double single after five years. So I'm, I'm assuming they'll probably be releasing a new record here soon. So if this band sounds interesting to you, go check them out. Alrighty, you guys, that is going to be it for this month's Metal Monthly. I hope that y'all enjoyed and discovered some bands in this video that you hadn't heard of and that you're interested in discovering more about. So like I've mentioned a few times, if you are interested in any of these bands, all of their links will be down below so you can check out more of their discography, pre-order a record if you're interested, check out their merch if they have any, um, and also the release dates and stuff will be down below so you can kind of keep an eye out um, for those things. I wanna say a big thank you so much to the labels that we are partnered with, Willow Tip, Prosthetic Records, Hell's, Hell, Hell's Headbangers. Thank you so much for um, partnering with my channel and also thank you so much to Claw Hammer PR as well as uh, uh, Nikki Law, Breaking the Law um, PR. So thank you so much to Claw Hammer PR and Breaking the Law PR for um, sending me bands as well. Um, I'm just so grateful to be here and to be able to share some of these artists. I definitely um, feel like the big focus for me for this was concept records and trying to bring more like unique concepts for displaying like their records, if that makes sense. <laughs> so 
A um, lot of really interesting things. I think I'm definitely the most interested in this Japanese metal group. Um, a world you have not seen yet, I believe is what they're called. Also really interested in Judicator, the Majesty of Decay. That's the kind of Dungeons and Dragons-esque fantasy concept album where it's really more of like the listener kind of picks their journey, I guess. It just sounds like a very uh, user experience type thing. <laughs> I don't know, that just sounds really interesting to me. Um, I definitely have questions for Oceans and why they did three EPs with one album and just all the same songs. I don't know about you, but that just seems a little weird to me. Um, otherwise, yeah, there's a lot of like really good bands in this. So please go check them out. Go and support these um, distribution companies and record labels that we're partnered with. Check out more of their artists, more of their merch stuff like that. Um, also be aware that some of those, you know, some of those distribution companies are going to be having some sales here pretty soon, girl, because Christmas is on the way. We have now passed Halloween and here we are with Christmas. Thanksgiving doesn't happen in the realm of advertising. <laughs> it's just straight to Christmas. So buckle up because she's coming. The end of the year is coming. So, so I hope you enjoy the rest of your morning, your afternoon, your evening, your night, wherever you are and whenever you are watching this. Thank you and I'll see you soon.